Okay guys, this is big news. We've had the timeline for all the N4 MacBooks and the M4 Macs. Mark Gurman has given us a brand new report of all the M4 Macs and MacBooks that are going to be coming out. And it looks like they're going to be coming out from the end of 2024 to the end of 2025. And it looks like he's also hinted that the iPads, the new ones that are about to come out in the M3, could be the end of the M3 journey. But in any case, like I said, I'm going to cover when all these new MacBooks and Macs and everything are going to be coming out between the end of 2024 and into 2025. But first of all, let's talk about this part of the report, what says that the M3 journey could be at the end already. So as we know already, the last possible Macs again, M3 inside of it, are the Mac Mini, the Mac Studio, and also the Mac Pro. And the only other device really to get it in 2024 and M3 is the iPad Pros that we've already talked about before. And if you want more information about that, make sure you click above to get the latest on the iPad Pro M3. But going back to Mark Gurman's report, as you can see right here, what is most interesting is that you can see right here, he actually says the top line Macs or some of the top line Macs might not be getting an M3 Ultra inside of this. And that Apple have tested this and that it might not even come about. This could mean that we might not get an M3 Ultra in say the Mac Studio or the uh, Mac Pro, or we might not even get it at all on either of these devices and it might be skipped this year altogether. I will also say at this stage, it's still unclear if we're even gonna get any Mac Minis this year with an M3 or an M3 Pro inside of it, because I'll be honest with you, the sort of leaks coming in for that have been super quiet. But as we're coming towards the summer now, if there is going to be any upgrades, then they should be coming out about now, really. But like I said, there hasn't been nothing. But this might be part of the bigger picture, as you will see later on in the video. So if this is the case, then it does mean that the iPads will be the last devices to get the M3 inside of it. Starting with the iPad Pro, this year, and maybe next year, if we even get the iPad Air with the M2 this year, that we will see that M3 chipset in it next year, as we say like that. But that will be it. That will be the end of the M3 journey as we know it. And that could be the reality that we have here. So with this then, what does it mean next? Well, it means it's the start of the M3 for journey what's going to come about next of all and with that starting out you can see right away that it looks like we're going to be getting an iMac with an M4 inside of it at the end of this year and also we'll get the baseline MacBook Pro with the M4 inside of it too. Now, what I would say at this point is don't expect any kind of new big upgrades in the iMac or the baseline M4 MacBook Pro. What I'm saying is maybe we might get a new color added to the iMac line possibly, but the actual design is going to stay the same and it will be the same with that MacBook Pro. That's, they're both basically in their midlife of their cycle, of their design right now. Nothing really is going to change. We may get that space black come along to the M4, the baseline MacBook this time round where it was exclusive for the M3 Pro and the M3 Max last time. That is about it, really. But if you are wondering about that M4 Pro and that M4 Max, well, as you can see here, Mark Berman says it looks like it'll be coming at the end of 2024 or into early 2025. So this is the possibility, again, with these M4 Pros and this M4 Max, we could have the same situation that we had the end of 2023, where we had the scary fast of it, where we had the M3, we had the iMax, we had the uh, MacBook Pros come out with the M3, M3 Pro and the M3 Max. It literally will be like a copy there what we'll have, an event like that. That is the possibility, what could be happening or what the other possibility could be is that, like I said, we could have, say, a press release just so like a website launch of that iMac with the improved chip and also that M4 MacBook Pro. But it won't be until, say, January time that we would actually see the M4 Pro and the M4 Max appear in MacBook Pros 2. And again, this would just appear on main websites. But there is one thing, though, what I would say is definitely happening this year, and it's happening this June time, and that is the giveaway on this channel for this. This here is a MacBook Pro with an M3 inside of it, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel around the end of June time this year. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is a couple of things. One is 
put down in the comments below of what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2024, whether that's Apple or non-Apple, it doesn't really matter. The other thing as well is make sure that when I say it on the channel that there's a form to fill out, that you need to fill in that form, for the actual giveaway too and on that note as well guys if you are brand new here then make sure you subscribe to the channel and say that notification bell because you'll want to know when i'm going to give all those details out about the form that needs to be filled in and everything with that so make sure you do that right now now the actual specs for this macbook pro if you want to know this macbook pro actually has an updated 16 gigabytes for ram in it. it doesn't actually have the baseline 8 gigabytes and also at the same time as well it's the top spec m4 inside of it what is also really really cool and like i said you just have to follow those other instructions there what i've given you and you could be in the chance of getting your hands on this new macbook pro m4 now one thing i'll also quickly say guys is that yes this is an international giveaway but sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there people still impersonating me telling me telegram whatsapp please do ignore them or better still as you can see right here please do report them instead there is also another device that could come out at the end of 2024 or could come out at springtime with those MacBook Airs and that is the Mac Mini. And this is where I said things can get a little bit controversial here. If we did get M3 Mac Minis, you know, at WWDC this summer in 2024, then at the end of 2024, we've got Mac Minis again with the M4 inside of it, or even let's say it's sort of springtime, there's not going to be a lot of time between that. We're going to be talking around about a sort of a refresh anywhere between about six to sort of nine months. What's really, really short. That is even shorter than the distance between the M2 Pro and the M2 Max to the M3 Pro and M3 Max that we got last year in 2023. What was about 10 and a half months on average. So I don't think Apple are gonna do that. They've done it once before. And yeah, I just can't really see it happening again. Now it's gonna be such a short distance. We're either gonna get the M3 Mac Minis and then we won't get any for a while or they're gonna be skipped all together and just go straight towards the m4 what we will get like i said next year after this we have summertime now this is where things get quite interesting here it does look like we will get a mac studio there with the m4 ultra and also the m4 max inside of it that's quite normal and especially that if we don't get one now in 2024 that we'll get that in 2025 but what is quite interesting here looks like the mac pro might be pushed out even further into the year in 2025 and even that we may get a sort of a top range sort of extreme chip put inside of it it does say an ultra chip here but you know i can't see the reason why apple would split out the mac studio and the mac pro at the same time there to be two different events as it were or two different sort of launches maybe it could be just be a marketing thing but you know i think apple are working on something to make the mac pro even more special because essentially all the mac pro is is the same as the mac studio but the ability just to put pcie slots inside of it that are compatible obviously with apple silicon but again what i would say for the mac studio and also for the mac pro don't expect any new big design changes. They're both through sort of their midlife now of their design, what they have right now. So don't expect anything changes there. We may get a new space black color added possibly to the range. That is probably one thing. And we may also get that Thunderbolt 5 or kind of new kind of port connectivity. You know, Apple can't work out the connections with Intel with Thunderbolt, but that would probably be about it. Overall, cosmetically, nothing new there. But you can imagine though that M4 Ultra, that M4 extreme is going to be stupidly powerful for what it is but yeah it's quite exciting to see that but with that then guys that is it that is the whole journey of the m4 it does look like m3 is coming to a close and it has been a very good journey but very short-lived i would say even if it completes say this summer this year that's less than a year for the m3 journey or you know if it is stopping here with the ipad wow that is a super short journey of about seven months or so six months it's going to be a very very short journey indeed but i'd love to know what your thoughts are here on the m4 journey do you think apple are rushing this too much 
much or do you think they should do some sort of intermittent sort of changes a bit like what we talked about with the possibility with the mac mini and the mac studio do you think they should be doing this to the macbooks too let me know in the comments below and also guys if you have enjoyed watching this video please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye